Hello, my name is Steve Miller. In this video, we're going to explore vehicle powertrain architectures with Simscape vehicle templates. Simscape models enable easy testing of different powertrain architectures. Our goal is to create a single model to evaluate powertrain architectures within the context of a full vehicle. The two architectures we're going to look at are a dual motor electric vehicle, which has a battery with a cooling system connected to an electrical network with two motors one powering the front axle and one powering the rear axle. We'll then, within the same model, switch to a three-motor electric vehicle, which has two motors on the rear axle, one on each wheel. We're going to integrate this model within a full vehicle simulation, which includes the definition of the maneuver, a closed-loop driver model, the environment, and vehicle-level controllers. The Simscape vehicle templates enable you to create a custom model that is tailored to electrification tasks such as evaluating the battery life with these two architectures and thermal management. We're going to configure our model using a MATLAB app to select the different powertrains. This will configure the electric network with the appropriate number of motors and mechanical connections to the rest of the drivetrain, as well as the cooling circuit. We'll then use the same app to configure the test. When we run the simulation, we will see an animation produced by Simscape Multibody where the electrical, thermal, mechanical, and multi-body networks are all integrated with the controller in a single environment. Let's switch over to the model so we can see how this is done. Here we have our full vehicle model with the dual motor electric powertrain. We can see the animation provided by Simscape Multibody on the right, where we are driving the car up a very long hill, Pikes Peak in Colorado. If we go into the block diagram, we can see the model of the vehicle constructed in Simscape. Here you can see the chassis, the brakes, and the powertrain systems all connected using physical connections. We wish to reconfigure the powertrain. Currently, the powertrain is configured to have two electric motors, one driving the front axle, one driving the rear axle. If we go into here, we can see that there are different variants. The dual motor powertrain has electric motors driving the front and rear axle. These are the mechanical connections that connect it to the multi-body model. And here's the DC-DC converter that connects it to the battery. And this entire system is cooled using active cooling. Here we have an active cooling loop for the entire electrical network. What we want to do is to activate the three motor variant for the electrical system and switch over to the drivetrain that has three powered shafts, one for the front axle and one for each of the rear wheels. To do that, we're going to use a MATLAB app. I will bring up the app using this hyperlink. Here you can see how we can configure the different portions of the system, including the powertrain and the driveline. We will select a three motor variant and leave the active cooling turned on. We'll also select a version of the driveline that uses three shafts. We'll press apply to update these changes to the workspace and we'll click this button to configure the model. Now we have three powered shafts for the, for the vehicle, one for the front axle, one for each of the rear wheels, and we can see that the other variant is now active, which includes the three motors that we've spoken about before. Using this MATLAB app, we can configure the vehicle as well as the event. We could run the vehicle up the Pike, Pikes Peak Hill in order to test the life of the battery, or we could run it down the hill to test our regenerative braking algorithms. Those algorithms, as well as the algorithms for the driver, are contained in these subsystems. We used the model we just showed you to run a virtual test on an electric vehicle. Here you can see an animation of the car going up the hill. On the uphill test, we tested the battery range and the effectiveness of the cooling system. On the downhill test, we tested a regenerative braking algorithm. Here you can see some of the simulation results. If you'd like to use this model to test your own systems, you can download it directly from the file exchange. The Simscape vehicle templates are for use with MATLAB releases 18B and higher. We are also hosting the files on GitHub so that we can react quickly to your requests. Give it a try and let us know what you think. Thank you.